hey guys so before we uh, start to send messages or receive messages or anything like that we'll see how we are going to store them in our firestore collection right that's an important thing right how are we going to store these messages in an efficient way so that it becomes easier to uh, retrieve those messages so uh, for that what we are going to do is we are going to be following a simple technique known as indexing okay uh what this what is this indexing this is the question that would come up is this visible yeah i'll write it in the corner here okay so we are going to be talking about a simple texting uh, simple technique called indexing okay this visible right yeah it's visible anyway uh, yeah what was i saying yeah indexing so what's this indexing indexing is nothing but it's not a new technique it's rather a pretty much old technique that's been in use for several centuries uh, the simplest way to describe indexing is your, is your dictionary guys right so you're taking all the words that start with a and putting it under uh, the alphabet a and then you're at, at the first and then uh, you're start taking all the words that start with m and then putting it in the middle and all those words with, that start with z and putting it at the end right so you have indexed all the words uh in the dictionary based on the alphabets order of alphabets right so this is a simple example for indexing uh if you look at uh, encyclopedia it obviously has an index wherein you could easily anyway you get what indexing is right it's simply like having three boxes if you have like uh five five apples four oranges and three mangoes okay there are 12 fruits totally right so instead of putting them all in a box and then whenever a guy asks for uh, an orange you need to shift through all these apples to find an orange right so our uh, apples and mangoes to find an orange right instead of doing that you have three separate boxes you put all the apples in one box you put all the oranges in one box and you put all the mangoes in another box so whenever you want an orange you go straight to the orange box ignoring the five apples and three mangoes which means you ignored eight test cases right you went straight to the oranges box it's an easier way to if uh, easier and efficient way to retrieve uh, the data that you want from uh, your db so how are we going oh, this is fine indexing is fine how are we going to bring this inside uh, firestore that's a critical question right this is all this is good indexing is good how are we going to bring this inside firestore firestore is a no sql schema less database right so no sql literally means that there is no sql uh, uh, there is no sql and since there are no like predefined data structures that you follow there are no tables in simple terms okay so how are we going to bring in a concept like indexing if there are no predefined data structures in the database that's an important point right we are going to be following the simplest way i'll i'll show you a very very simple way and you'll pretty much you'll understand it by the end of this video i was planning to do an animation on this but uh, it turns out that i am pretty much bad at animation so i thought i draw draw this entire thing in a chart uh, and make a video of it hopefully this should go fine i am constantly looking at the anyway uh, coming back to the indexing technique what i am going to do is i am going to have two collections okay no oh, sorry two collections one collection would refer one collection would literally act as a table okay Here, let's call that collection uh, conversations conversations collection would literally act as a table of indices the other converse uh, the other collections name would be messages okay this would be the original collection that stores all our messages fine now uh how are we going to store our messages and why you have uh, how are you going to create ind index keys and all that uh, you might have a lot of questions like that right let's tackle them one by one so first what i am doing uh, a, a person is sending me a message okay a person is sending me a message what i'll do is uh, i'll go inside this conversations collection i'll go inside wait i'll draw a small box uh, forgive my crude penman skills okay first i'll have a conversations collection here okay a simple conversations collection and i'll have a list of documents inside that collection right this assume that this is a list of documents and each and every document will have some fields 
So uh, first I am getting into the conversations collection and uh, I am checking whether it has an uh, first if I am chatting with the guy if I if my name is Vince and I am chatting with a guy named uh, Dan Daniel okay. So what I am doing is I am getting into the conversations collection and then I am checking uh, it will have like a simple wait I will show you each and every document here will have three fields one is the uh, message ID field okay the second one is the uh, my email field and third one is uh, uh, chatting with whom uh, let's assume that it's whom field okay so if i am wins and i am chatting with daniel then uh, my email wins at gmail.com would be here and whom here it would be uh, dan at gmail.com and this message id will be have uh, an id a random id a b c okay and this uh, this will obviously have an uh, id as well let's assume that that id is 1 2 3 okay for now let's assume that that id is 1 2 3 and a similar document will exist uh, a same copy of this document will exist but in that document the uh, dan's id will be the my email and uh, my id will be under whom you get why that is essential right wait i'll zoom in a bit you get why that's essential right since when Dan opens this conversations collection to refer the conversation that we both were my clock is chiming anyway when Dan uh, opens this conversation to refer to the conversation that we both were having his email should be under my email and my email should be under whom right Vincent's email should be under whom and but the message ID would be the same for both you get it right the message ID would be the same for both since we both are having that same conversation right now let's get into messages collection i have another collection here is this also visible yeah it's visible i have another collection here this is the message assume that this is the message this is the conversations collection this is the messages collection okay uh, inside this messages collection what i'm having is i'm having a list of documents once again i'm having a list of documents and each and every document has a sub collection okay uh, this has a sub collection of messages this is assume that this is the first document and this is the second document this and has another sub collection of messages and this might have several messages right message one message two that is several documents right this is a sub collection it contains several documents and all these documents are nothing but the messages sent okay so uh, this has an id right this will now have an id that id would be abc this id is the same id as this one you get it right now you get it so essentially i am taking this key and using it as an index here now how will this work the how will this whole flow work whenever a person sends a email uh, sorry not an email sends a message first what i'll do is i'll get into convos and then uh, not sends a message whenever a person tries to chat with another person suppose i am going to chat with another guy and i am clicking on his uh, name imagine that i am clicking on his name then it automatic once it enters the uh, chat it will automatic uh, chat window it will automatically get to convos uh, conversations collection uh, start searching for my email and the person whom i want to chat with his email it will start searching for such a document right it will start searching for the apple box like that assume that it's like that and once it gets a hit it will automatically get the message id which is the index right index key so it will get that message id come back to messages collection look for that id here once it looks for that id it will simply return an observable of this messages sub collection this is a sub collection right once it gets this id it will zoom in a little uh, it will get written an observable of the messages sub collection which will, which will be nothing but the uh, message messages that we both were having the conversation that we both were having this will be applicable to both of us since we have two entries uh, e even if he searches for the same even if he tries to chat with me at the same time uh, he'll obviously have this same id and he'll also have an observable of uh, the, uh, the our messages which means that we could chat in real time it makes storing messages and retrieving messages much easier you get it right so what if there are there is no such document here that's another scenario right so if there is no such document i'll just return a message saying no messages okay 
and whenever the user sends the first message whenever the user sends a message what i'll do is i'll get in here there is no uh, document this is the first message so i'm creating a new document here right i'm creating a new document here but i am not filling this particular message id column instead i am just filling these two fields creating another document filling these two fields uh, in in a uh, i mean uh, i am transpo transposing not transposing swapping i am swapping these two values and then filling these two fi these uh, filling that document as well which means that i have two documents uh, and wait i'll represent that doc should i represent that document as well uh, assume that I, okay uh, assume that i have two documents and in that second document it will be uh, the whom will be wins and uh, my email would be dan so after doing that i am getting into messages collection creating a new document here taking this documents id and updating the conversations collection cool right you understood right so if there is no conversation and i am sending a message i don't have a conversation with uh, uh, for instance there is another guy called uh, tony okay i don't have a conversation with tony i only have a conversation with vincent uh, sorry dan right so if i want to have a conversation with tony first i'm clicking on tony it shows no messages i'm sending a first message it's automatically coming into conversations collection getting into conversations collection searching for a particular document it's not found so what it's doing it's creating a uh, new document no new document here and this new document will be having a message id oh it's not visible this new document will be having a message id and uh, my email once again wins and at gmail.com and uh, whom to whom will be uh, what was that guy's name tony tony at gmail.com okay and it will create another document it will create another doc you will this be visible i'll paste it over this case document okay there is no sql right no structure so we can <laughs> simply paste it anyway this will have the message id once again this message id will be blank and uh, in this case the my email will be tony at gmail.com and whom will be wins uh, at gmail.com so it creates two documents both these documents have a message id field which are empty as of now it's getting back to messages collection creating a new document this new document has a key uh, a doc ref id as xyz it's creating a sub collection under that document as well and storing your first message new message that you sent that message is stored here okay uh, message okay that's stored here then it's taking this xyz and updating it here as a key cool right you understood now i hope you understood now it's updating that xyz field here now let's say whenever uh, now you close the chat and then you left you are logging in again the next time you come uh, next time you get into this conversations collection it will automatically search and then it will retrieve this document for tony it will retrieve this document it will choose this id it will choose this id uh, get in here uh, get into messages collection choose this id get the sub collection re return this entire sub collection as an observable to uh, uh, to the uh, front end right cool right now what if there are 5000 messages that's another scenario right so we are limiting this sub collection based on uh, like a simple value 10 or 15 and then whenever the user scrolls up we will be returning uh, 10 more messages 10 more messages the infinite scroll the whole infinite scroll thing that's how we will be implementing this in our uh, chat application but this is how we are indexing all the messages to be stored in our uh, uh, in our firestore collection guys that's what i wanted to explain i i really wanted to you need to understand this whole concept so that it becomes easier uh, while we are building this out uh, it it it'll look really cool while we are building this out in our application guys that's what i, I wanted to show you not just indexing you could create a wide variety of uh, I, I, like I, i told you before right while starting this course i told you no sql literally means your imagination is the limit so far in all the databases that we have encountered we had like predefined structures and predefined rules on how to store data predefined security rules and all that right no sql literally removed all those limitations and gave us a clear field this is the sole reason why no sql has risen up in popularity 
this much quickly okay you could literally imagine a structure in your head and then start to implement that in on your database and use it as your data structure if you know how to do it efficiently i use this indexing text indexing technique here inside a nosql uh, firestore collection i had a couple of collections stored all my messages retrieved all my messages efficiently uh, in a neat way and also it's also uh, it also is a much faster way right there are few more ways in which you could obviously store and retrieve messages but uh, for now let's start with this simple way and then uh, proceed from here for uh, by the end of this i'll insert i'll show another chart video wherein i'll uh, talk about uh, how we are going to store group messages and retrieve them as well and uh, uh, at the end of that chart video probably or by the end of this chart uh, i'll at the end of that chart video or both the chart videos i'll uh, add a clip showing how we have actually uh, done this in firestore and how it actually looks in firestore so that you will get a better picture of what i was trying to explain here this lens is not a wide angle lens guys so i have to like i have my limitations here but i hope that i uh, got my point across one thing to remember indexing second thing to remember how we are going to bring this indexing inside firestore collections third thing to bring remember it's a much simpler and easier way to store and retrieve messages you could literally store and retrieve uh, messages in a efficient way if you have any more techniques or if you think uh, there are a few more efficient ways to do this kindly drop a comment below i'll also research into that uh, or if you want any want to know about more techniques no sql techniques kindly drop a comment and uh, i'll help you i i'll uh, show such chat videos on whatever technique that i have experimented with okay so yeah i'll talk about the groups uh, no we'll implement this and then while we are talking about uh, making videos on the uh, making videos to implement the groups feature in our group chat feature in our application i'll talk about how we are storing group messages and retrieving them as well all right thanks guys